Welcome everyone to the 2023 Utility Expo and here at the Vermeer booth. Thank you so much for coming and seeing some of our new products that we're going to launch. We've got some exciting things to show you. But first, I want to bring over Jason Andriga, our president and CEO, to say a few words. And uh, we'll get started after that. Here you go, Jake. Thank you, Jake. Good morning, everyone. It is great to be with you. Beautiful day here at Utility Expo. My name is Jason Andriga. Honor and a privilege for me to serve in the role of CEO as a third generation Vermeer family member. My grandfather founded the company 75 years ago. Also an honor and a privilege that my immediate predecessor was my mother, Mary Andriga. So we've been incredibly proud of this company for 75 years and we look forward to a tremendous future working with all of you to serve your needs going forward. So 75 years ago, uh, my grandfather built a machine for his own use and his neighbor saw it and said, hey, would you build one of those for me? And uh, he needed to hire somebody and that was the beginning of the company. Really, all of our early innovations that have led to all of our products today go back to the farm and they go back to the need to make job sites easier, more efficient, fewer workforce. So the products that we're going to reveal today, making them more efficient, fewer people on the workforce, on the job site, um, tight labor, does that sound familiar? So when we look back to the product that really is the beginning of all of our products on the utility and infrastructure side of the business, my grandfather built power takeoff driven, PTO driven tiling trenchers to put in drainage tile for low lying farm fields. So tight labor, managing water. With that, I would like to bring Jake back up to talk about uh, these two products that we're really excited to tell you about today. Th Thank you, Jason. <clears throat> so over the past 20 years, the underground industry has really taken a different shift. These hydro excavation products really started in a mud management side and really have evolved. And Evermere, our founder, Jason's grandfather, really looked at how do we make a better way every day on every job site. And that's what we're trying to do here. This first machine that we're gonna show you is one of our new trailer vacs. So let's take a look at the video and we can watch uh, the introduction. Right. There it is, the new the new VX75 Hydro Vac. So what what fitting way would it be for us to launch the VX75 on our 75th year anniversary? I don't know if we planned that out perfectly or what. So let's take a look at the 75. Your basic specs on the on the unit that you saw on the board is a 74 horsepower Kubota engine with class leading in that that 74 horsepower class 1500 CFM. We do that with a five inch boom. So you're gonna reduce your clogs, you're gonna be more productive on the job, and that's key for you guys to be make to make sure that you've got the, the time up, the uptime, and make sure that you're uh, you're getting be, getting more pipe in the ground and being more productive. Eight gallon per minute water pump, three thousand psi, make it easy for that harder ground. But the great part about this Swiss Army tool of a, of a machine is you can also use air if your ground calls for it. So air excavation, and then there's also another option where you can be, you can have a uh, sewer jetter that'll go up to 18 gallons per minute. 
So this unit really hits all the aspects that you can have. A unit that really, really gets you out on the job, dig with what you need to with water or air, and even in the sewer jetter options. This unit itself is going to be the platform for all of our new generation products coming in the future. So you see the low profile, the short trailer length, three foot shorter than our previous model. That's easy to get into those, those urban areas and making sure that you can, you can get and stay on your job sites that you need to. So we're excited to show you this new 75. After the unveil of the, the next machine, I want you to come back over, ask some more questions and we'll get rolling from there. So let's take a look at the video board and talk about our new uh, vac truck that we're gonna show you here now. This is our new VXT 600. So as the guys are getting ready to show you how it digs, we'll talk a little bit about the machine. 6400 CFM, a Jurot blower, extremely quiet. So what you're gonna see when we dig with the machine is right around that mid 80 decibel level. So you're still able to operate and talk and communicate on the job. We want you to, keep, to be safe on the job so you can communicate. 10 gallon per minute or a 20 gallon per minute option for your dig nozzle. We've got the 20 on this truck, so you'll see it really dig today. Want to really focus on the weight distribution. So we made this truck as light as possible. So just under 40,000 pounds empty. And that, that weight and the weight distribution of the long slender, slender tank gives you the ability to put more payload in the spool tank so you're staying on the job longer and being more efficient. This unit can hold right around 12 of 12 pound mud at 10 yards total. That's a leading on the industry for the industry to keep you to spoil as much as possible. Tim and TJ are showing you guys a little bit about the quick dig, our quick dig nozzle, and also the the hose that he's going to pull off here and be able to go right to work. So there's no additional time in putting the dig hose and the dig tool on, dig tooling on. One of TJ's favorite features of the, of the truck is this thermoplastic coating on the, on the fenders. Those fenders are used on oil rigs and it keeps the, the fenders long lasting and be able to use those without any issues in the future. Filtration was one of the key points that we really wanted to focus on. Our old generation unit had a smaller tank, a smaller uh, filtration tank, so we wanted to make sure we had a great clean out so we we doubled the, the overall size of our filters, but also for the cyclones and also the clean out of the filter. So I'm gonna stop talking and let these guys work because that's what really shows the machine. But listen to how quiet the unit is at full RPM, showing them how the unit runs. And I'll let TJ and, uh, TJ and Tim go to work.
So if I got out there and dug like they did, I'd be covered in mud. But that's when you know you got a real operator that can dig and not walk away and not be completely covered. Well, listen, guys, we're so excited that you came by and saw the unveil of these two new products. Please stick around, hang out with us, ask us some questions, and we'll, uh, we'll have a great day. So I really appreciate it again. Thank you so much. And make sure to stick around for our legacy talk here in a few minutes, too, um, closer to the, uh, the big screen. Thank you so much, and have a great show.